Are you someone that's been trying to grow your hair and have it grow thicker and longer? Well, let me share with you what I have been doing, and I have been seeing a huge difference in my hair. So I have been consuming every single morning collagen powder from Primal Kitchen. I get the chocolate. I also have tried vanilla, and they're both so yummy. There's a ton of other flavors too, but I love chocolate. So every morning I put together some hemp milk, a couple of scoops of the collagen powder. Sometimes I throw in some organic fruit in there and that's it. That's my breakfast. And my hair has been growing, honestly, almost a little out of control. It's growing so fast. So if you want to check it out, check out the collagen powders. They're amazing and they just taste so good. Head over to Primal Kitchen. P-R-I-M-A-L-K-I-T-C-H-E-N.com and put in the code Margaret R 10 for 10% off of any collagen powder or actually anything on their website. Trust me, you're going to love how fast your hair grows. Welcome to the Sacred Medicine Podcast. My name is Margaret Romero. I'm a Columbia-trained functional medicine nurse practitioner, and here I uncover the truth behind chronic illness so that you can finally heal. I'm a women's health and hormone expert and love empowering women to finally live their life fully and powerfully through optimal health. This is the Sacred Medicine Podcast. back for another week of wisdom for the weekend. It's been a little while since I've been on here and I was having a conversation with a girlfriend of mine the other day and I said, I got to put this on the podcast. And, you know, there is a feeling of an easiness that I have when people who are not medically trained, you know, regular, regular people who go to see a doctor and you put all your faith in your doctor, that they are doing the right thing for you, that they are telling you all the right things, that they are putting you on the right medication. But there's, there's a time and a place for sure for conventional medicine. Absolutely. No doubt. But there are also times when things can be resolved using other means, using food, using supplements, um, checking for vitamin deficiencies, checking for what's going on in their gut health, things like that. And I feel like a lot of these things are just forgotten about. They were never taught. They don't really know. You know, conventional medicine I'm talking about not functional or naturopaths or anything like that. So one of the things we were talking about is how if you're not medically trained, how you sort of go to see a doctor and and you give your power to them. You sort of hand it over to them and you're like, okay, I totally trust you 100%. As, As though you should, right? But you trust them and you rely on them to give you like the latest information, the latest research that they should be up to date with all this stuff. You give your power away um, and you say, oh, this medicine, okay, yeah, okay, I take it and and not really question it. Well, let me tell you something. I want you to stop doing that. I need for you to stop giving your power to your doctors And relying on them 100% of the time. Because let me tell you, there are medications, there are things and conditions that can be completely, completely reversed by diet alone. We know this. We all know this. But sometimes it's easy to give a pill. For doctors, it's easy For patients, sometimes patients want a pill. They want to just take a pill, just give me the pill, you know. 
I'm depressed. Just give me the pill. I have IBS. Just give me a pill. I have um, headaches. Just give me a pill without really figuring out why, what's happening. Maybe you have a food allergy. Maybe you have um, some, you know, chemical imbalances. Maybe you've got, I mean, it could be a million things. And when you decide that you just are going to give your body up to your doctor, which is essentially kind of what you're doing. And I am so like, I am someone that is like, I'm the worst patient. I am the worst. I question everything. I look up everything. What are the side effects? No, thank you. No, I don't think so. I do my own thing. I change my diet. I get the supplement. Everything gets better. And it's like, and then they're like, oh, hmm, it was, it's a miracle. It's, no, it's science. Maybe, the, you know, miracles happen, of course, but it is something that I stand by so fiercely that I feel so uneasy when I see people who just look up to their doctor and they, and they hand over their entire power, their bodies, and unknowingly, unknowingly, and it kills me. I mean, it really, it just, it bothers me so much because I, being a medical provider, I question and I, and I see mistakes happen. I mean, when my dad got sick a couple years ago and I was in the hospital with him, and the things that I saw. If I was not there, I, I don't know what would have happened to him. I don't know if he would be here today, to be honest with you. The things that I caught, the, the um, uh, it's just, I don't even want to go into it all. But, um, you know, to the point where I, had, I slept there overnight, night after night in the hospital, when he was in rehab, I slept there. Um... It was, it's just, it's so disheartening when you go to a practitioner and you really rely on them. And I'm not saying that all doctors are bad. I'm not saying that doctors are wrong. I'm not saying anything. All I'm saying is become empowered when you go to your doctor. If he gives you a diagnosis, look it up. Get a second opinion. If you want to do something more natural or integrative or functional medicine-wise, go find that person and get another opinion. Do not only rely on one person's opinion on something. Oh, you have um, autoimmunity, autoimmunity, let's say. And, you know, here is the way to go. It's uh, biologics, IVs, yada, yada, yada. It's the only way. No. Okay, BS, it's not the only way. It is absolutely not the only way. And, but, but people are like, oh, okay, doctor says it's the only way. Okay, well, BS, because it's not. And, um, like, and be empowered, look stuff up, like Google things. And I know people are like, oh, WebMD, it's fine. You should, you really should be doing your research before you go see your doctor for follow-up. You should question every single thing that he or she says to you. Question everything. Listen, I'm the worst. I question everything. I want to know everything. I want to know the side effects. And when I know the side effects, when I was first diagnosed 12 years ago with lupus, nephritis, they wanted me to be on all of this stuff. And I had reactions to it. And I was like, I am not going to be on this stuff. I am not. And then they, then, then to come to find out, they give me things that the side effect is lupus. I mean, come on, come on, people. Can you, can we get with it already? I mean, are you serious? You, it's insane. You know, they, they, they put you on something, you know, I was on immunosuppressants. I was on cell sept for about a year. They wanted me to be on it probably a lifetime. Okay. That's not happening. That didn't happen. I weaned off myself. Don't do it. I'm a practitioner and I was actually drawing my blood every month to, to check. So, um, I, I did that. And while I was on that, they put me on Bactrim, you know, so you don't get an infection from them suppressing your immune system. 
So you put me on Bactrim. Bactrim's side effect is lupus. Look it up because it's in there. Why, why would you put someone on that? I don't get it. No wonder. I felt like such shit. I felt like I was on 20 pills. I felt like hell. Nothing was better. I looked horrible. I was a hot mess. I mean, I was 30 pounds overweight and it was just, I can't even describe it, but, um, you know, that's just one example. And I'm not here to like bash doctors. Trust me. I'm not here to bash doctors. What I'm doing is I'm just empowering you. If you're listening to me. You're not a, you're not a medical provider. You're, you know, a non-professional medical professional and do not, if, if you have a new diagnosis and you're getting one kind of treatment, I'm sure that there are other things that would help support your body while you're going through treatment at least. Um, did anyone check to see if you're vitamin deficient? Anyone who's got a chronic illness is vitamin deficient. Like it's just a fact. Okay. Your body is weak. It's run down. It's tired. Nobody checks anything. Nobody checks, you know, B12, vitamin D. I mean, the list goes on and on of the things that you need to rebuild your body. Nobody's doing this. So my rant today <laughs> is just be empowered. And don't give your power to your doctor. Don't give your power to anybody for, for F's sake, okay? Don't give your power to anybody. A man, a relationship, a freaking job, whatever, your doctor. Um, don't do it. And trust me, I, you know, I went through my whole really dramatic very dramatic medical situation a long time ago. And I don't know where I would be today if I didn't know the information that I know, if I didn't do the testing that I, I mean, I did so much testing aside from what they did. They were just, you know, doing some little things here and there, but I was like, I need to know deeper. I need to go deeper. I need to, to know things on a deeper level. And I did and uncovered so many things. So let me tell you, if you're got some diagnosis right now, you don't really know the doctor's telling you this, that, and the other, this is the medication. Okay. Question everything. Number one, look things up. Number two, find someone else and get a second opinion. And that's it. That's all I'm asking. You You don't have to fire your doctors like I did or anything like that. Um, like I told you, I am like the worst patient. So, I'm, you know, just become informed, just become informed. That's all. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying doctors are bad or anything like that. Absolutely not. But what I don't like is when people are like you 100% um, take what they say as if th- that's it. Like that's the last word. That's it. This is the only way to do this. No, I beg to differ. There are other things. There are other ways. Trust me on this. Trust me on this. If they don't talk to you about nutrition or food or vitamins or anything, find someone else that will support that part. You can continue seeing your doctor, but find someone else. Find um, a functional medicine practitioner, a naturopath, someone that could support you through this. If you're going through a new diagnosis, chronic illness or something like that, because your body needs support. It does, it just doesn't need medication. So that's it. (laughs) Have the most beautiful weekend and it's summertime here. So I am ecstatic. As you know, I'm not a winter person. And so it's been quite beautiful. And I'm going to be heading off, spend a little time at the beach this afternoon. So love to you all. And if you wanted to know more information about my new book that is coming out very, very soon, it's on pre-order and it's called from flare to fabulous 25 things you must do to avoid your next lupus flare. And it's on pre-order. So if you want to check it out, head on over to margaretromero.com forward slash pre-order. Love you all. Thank you so much for listening. And bye for now.